At Walmart, fall means you can expect one thing, rollbacks, a lot of them. Get back to your routine without blowing your budget, not just here, but across the store. So you can get back into the swing of things for less. curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, bond spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your stream curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium.
like to see the right of it. Yeah, yeah. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium.
Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium.
Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium.
like didn't even say anything for so long because so I was like, just go. <laughs>
All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I've been summoned back into the uh, fifth end here for the Grady Brown game. Looks like we've been uh, looking at a treat of a game, two nothing here for Grady over Brown. My name is Matt Yo, and the uh, owner of Tim's Ice Manufacturing runs the Ladue Curling Club here. Great shot there by uh, Brown. To get out of the shot rock, lie too here behind some just hide some granite. Looks like there's been a pretty good chat going here. Of, uh, lots of people talking about uh, the game, which is great. Keep it going. Hi, Mark P. So it looks like this is going to be an, uh, a hit and flop. She probably doesn't want to get too close to the guard here. Um, it looks like if she hits it, she is still going to be second shot. Uh, but right now, I think it's limiting the damage. Now, what we saw earlier in, in uh, Clancy Grandy's uh, first game was uh, Uber... Sorry, something happened there with the audio. Uh, just uber aggressive here in, in one of the games early this afternoon. And, uh, you know, this being up to is a little bit of a defensive call, which is which is probably the proper call. Hit that open rock. And then how does yellow get in there for their second point? You know, that intern draw, that yellow rock that's above the house there, uh, above the co-op, which is our presenting sponsor here for the uh, ladies uh event here this this weekend but that rock on the right hand side there above the house that yellow rock it will uh will block the intern draw so looks like kareem's going to be going through the uh out turn to the wings maybe down to that red rock in the back and then team grandy's going to have to have a decision to make if they want to run the center red back and be very aggressive and stick it back there and, and, and force them to maybe even steal a point or to follow them down here. So I'm going to try to get a time. I uh, I was upstairs slinging drinks in the bar and uh, haven't been watching the ice too much here. So I'm going to try to get a time here and, and see what, uh, what the ice is running. Looks like they're just lightly brushing it in here. Line's good. Weight seems like it might be a little hot. And I got it at the 14.9. Sweeping there to the back. House tap back. Great shot there by Team Brown. Well communicated. Uh, on a shot like that, it's very important that your sweepers communicate with the person in the house. Saying, you know, it's a little bit heavy. Uh, so they, they know on that line. Uh, they would have lots of room around that corner guard and uh, they can sweep it down to that back red rock. Now, if that line was the same and it was T-line weight, the uh, skip holding the broom would need to know that information very quickly to ensure that uh, they would get it around the yellow guard and in place. So very well communicated and a great shot by uh, Team Brown. So now this is the decision to make. You go with the ultra... Um, Aggressive call, run back your red rock, uh, stick it back there, and you know what? You you might steal a point. Uh, you have a pretty good chance of stealing a point. Or uh, follow that red rock down. Or sorry, follow the uh, yellow rock that was just thrown down and cut them down to, uh, to two. Or the ultra, ultra um, Aggressive call is the out turn wide around everything to the back forefoot where they're talking about right now. This is a touch surprising to me because it looks like uh, I could be wrong, but it looks like yellow's lying maybe three. 
If they were lying three, I don't think they would play this call, play this shot. But, um, you know, if they're lying two, this is a, this is a very aggressive call. But it's also uh, a call that could uh, to get you the steal point in the fifth end. Very interesting call here. I do agree there, Mark P. But uh, uh, I had the pleasure of announcing her win earlier this afternoon, and and it seemed like they just were able to pick these rocks and put them right where they wanted. So this is might be a very confident call of, of knowing where the ice is and what the speed is. Uh, the rock seems like it came down pretty well here. They're just rushing it in. Line's great if the speed is uh, is going to slow down. They're out there in the good pebble in the fifth, fifth, sixth end here. So the the disadvantage with that call is now uh, Team Brown gets to play the same shot again. Uh, pretty easy shot that they just had. They could even bump back their rock, I believe, uh, a little bit and still get three three points here. Again, huge shout out to our uh, to our title sponsor here for the event, our presenting sponsor, Co-op Petroleum. All right, same shot twice. I would assume that you'd be very close to making this shot. Again, very important that the sweepers communicate with the skip. Let them know the weight so they know if they're going to be tight to that guard or not. You might want to keep a broom down on this just to make sure. And that's very well communicated. Great shot. Great back-to-back -back, uh, calls by the sweepers and the skip in the house to call the right line in the week. So 3-2 going into the sixth end. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium. So good shot there to force uh, force the uh, the play. Good center guard in the uh, in the sixth end. A lot of teams would play that shot into the rings, being up one, playing the sixth end. If you're in the rings there, that gives the other team um, the opportunity to hit it if they like. But they wouldn't. They'd be throwing up a guard because you don't want a blank here if you have the hammer in the sixth end. You want to score one, uh, minimum, and then also try to force in the seventh, and then you have the ultra-important hammer in the eighth end. So a lot of people put that rock in the house in the 
with your first rock in the sixth and up one. Sounds like the call, or that looks like the call is to come around that yellow rock here with her second shot. Great shot there. Couldn't have walked it down any better. Fully buried. Right on the T-line. Granny going to be going around their corner guard, I believe. Good shot. Uh, you know what? It's going to be three quarters open, probably. Um, giving Team Brown a chance to throw just through weight, tap it out. With a shot like this, you do want to control your weight. Anything more than just through um, will run a little bit straight. But she's decided to change the call up and uh, and come around the uh, the center guard again. So the disadvantage of throwing that red corner guard to the right-hand side of the sheet is that it blocks your outturn draw to the button as a skip. It's a little bit difficult to obviously throw a corner guard on the left-hand side of the sheet because the center guard is on the left-hand side of the sheet. But in this instance, you probably want to keep that outturn draw available with your last rock because, again, you need to score if you're Team Grandy here in the sixth end to ensure that you have the hammer in the even ends and you would get two hammers to the one hammer of Kareen Brown. So a little bit caught there trying to throw the real hard uh, high center guard and a couple couple feet light um, in the sixth end here uh, and, and a little bit of a hog brock. A little bit of inside information. Uh, to be quite honest with you, as an ice maker that in these events, I have uh, absolutely no problem sharing any of the information that we have on the ice, rocks, anything. If the teams come up and ask, we will absolutely uh, let them know uh, anything that, we, uh, that we've picked up over the time. Uh, and that goes for every team out there. So... Uh, you young teams out there that are out there competing, if you see the ice maker out there pebbling, scraping, by all means, come up, ask them if there's any tricks to the sheet, any tricks to the trade. Now, here's a little trick for some of the curlers here. If they would have come up and asked, there's a couple teams that came up and asked at the beginning of the week. And uh, it is slower coming home at this club. So it's the pad here is, is fairly unlevel. So we have about four inches of ice um, at the close end here and a little bit less uh, ice on the far end. So it actually acts that it's a little bit slower on the way home. So people in the sixth end, uh, tendency is to almost hog that rock uh, because it's a touch slower coming home. And in the sixth end, obviously, throughout the game, it usually gets a touch slower throughout the game. So... Any of those teams out there, if you see the ice maker out there pebbling, scraping, we're all open books. If uh, you're willing to take the information, we're willing to hand it out. So go talk to your ice makers, ask them uh, any tricks of the trade, and we'll be more than happy to help out all the curling teams.
So ends shaping up pretty good for Team Grandy here. We got two rocks in the corner. Going to be throwing a corner guard here to, to cover those rocks. One yellow rock in the house that's wide open at the moment. So this ends shaping up to be a, a fairly fairly good end for Team Grandy if they can uh, string the next uh, three, four shots together here. Question from Keith Keller on the on the live stream here. Is the uneven ice intentional? No, it is not. So each concrete pad that's underneath the ice that actually has the refrigerant, it, it actually becomes unlevel throughout the years. This place here in Leduc actually doesn't have a heat floor. Uh, so it, it kind of, it sounds funny that you would have a heat floor underneath your cooling floor. But out here in Alberta, you need that to keep the frost from heating your concrete. So this place here doesn't have a heat floor. So uh, when it gets colder throughout the, the curling season, the concrete pad actually is a living thing and it starts to move. And, and we need to flood a lot to, to keep it nice and level. Uh, so no, it is not an, uh, intentional at all. It's that you need to create a level playing surface for these curlers. And uh, each sheet, each curling club uh, is going to have instances where the, the curling pad, the concrete pad, is not going to be level. And there's going to be some warmer spots and cooler spots. And your local ice maker is going to know that. So, uh, like, again, uh, all those curling teams out there, your recreational team on Thursday night men's or, or mixed, uh, go ask your ice maker. They'll tell the few, few spots out there what you need to look out for. And uh, they know because uh, we need to spend uh, about an extra day and a half putting water down here before we can get nice and level. So another corner guard to go up here. You need this one to curl over a little bit. You're going to have to. I used to. I played with Kevin Park in Japan for a, for a couple spiels, and he used to yell at me to lean on it. And so they leant on it and uh, got that rock over and covered up the corner guard really well. Keith, you're definitely right there on the live stream. It, uh, curling ice is is very complicated. Uh, we have sensors all over the ice from Ice Advice, one of the uh, sponsors here. Uh, we have sensors all over the ice to tell us temperature differences. Uh, we deal in Fahrenheit so we can get a true accurate uh, look of, you know, up to 0.5 of a degree uh, change in, in Fahrenheit. Um, there's lots of different techniques that uh, ice makers need to use in, in their local curling clubs to uh, try to make the best ice for, for the co uh, competitors and athletes. Every club is different. Every set of rocks is different. Uh, airflow is an amazing thing that brings humidity into the building um, and also uh, hot hot spots on your ice. Um, yeah, there, there's, a, there's a million and one different things that can go into making good sheet ice. And uh, sometimes it becomes very cumbersome at, at some clubs until you can get a hang, the hang of it. All right, so a little bit change up here for Kareem Team Brown. They're looking at trying to draw one around here and freeze it, which just a little bit of a chap off. That you know what? That is an actual. Uh, that's a really good shot. Um, they're sitting two right now. The advantage of that shot and it's a very good call by uh, Team Brown is that now if you want to do a hit and roll or even a double on those yellows that yellow rock that you're going to contact behind the corner guard is going to jam on the red rock back 12 foot. Now in team Grandy's instance, that's probably not a bad thing to get you one of your rocks over to the, towards that rock in the four foot area to kind of clump, clump them together a little bit and, uh, and have a shot here for, you know, two or three again, you need to you need to score this end. So let's not make it too more too complicated. Um, 
one's good, two's better. But uh, if you if you can score one, you're gonna have that hammer. Hope hopefully coming home in the eighth then, and uh, that's what you want here: two hammers to one. Steve chimed in a live stream here. Do you prefer to to doing ice making in Fahrenheit or Celsius? Um, it's funny we we do hockey rinks, curling rinks. It seems like a lot of the people uh, hockey rinks are moving into the Celsius. Uh, I do the same as uh, same as I would say ninety five percent of our curling ice makers. We deal in Fahrenheit. It's more of an accurate um, temperature, and the uh, you get a quicker and uh, and more instantaneous feedback on your ice surface the temperature of dealing with Fahrenheit than Celsius. Very true. Nothing like a decimal point doesn't solve. But it's easier to deal with 25.5 degrees Fahrenheit than minus 4.12648 Celsius. <laughs> All right, great shot coming in here. Looks like it's going to jam on the back, I believe. Oh, no. Great shot. Fantastic shot. Now, uh, Team Brown's really going to have to be careful here because to remove this rock, they're going to have to roll in front of their yellow rock a little bit. Um, they can't roll to the right to spread their yellow rocks out. And then this might be a, a really good chance for Team Granny to sit, you know, three, uh, two or three after the, um, their next shot. So I think what uh, Team Brown's going to want to do here is is hit that yellow or hit that red rock, and roll over towards the yellow corner guard. So if they can roll all over all the way over to that yellow corner guard behind that corner guard in the eight foot still, uh, and second shot, that would be ideal. And that would turn this end around for, for Team Brown. And that's and that's the uh, that's the problem that they're going to face here. Um, you know, they hit and flopped in front of their yellow rock, a nose hit here, or a little bit on the broom side as you're looking at it, uh, double, and uh, they're lying three. Um, not a whole bunch of places for Team Brown to hide after they make this shot. So big turn of events here. Very well executed end by uh, by both teams. Um, and it just, that, that little hit and flop might come back to, uh, might come back to haunt them here. Earlier in the, uh, live stream here, we had, uh, if you're not leaning on your broom hard enough and you haven't broke it, you're not leaning on it hard enough. That is actually a funny story. We were playing in uh, junior provincials one time, and I was uh, sweeping a rock and a fairly big individual. And and the the raw the broom that I was sweeping with actually shattered, a few splinters in the hands, burnt the rock, bloody lip. <laughs> Everyone had quite the laugh. Actually, it was pretty pretty funny. All right, they're going to come down and, and and take a look at this again. Big shot. This is, uh, you know, this is probably the most pivotal shot, obviously, so far in the game. And it could be one of the, the biggest shots uh, for Team Grandy here in the uh, in the sixth end. So they want to talk this over, communication exactly where they want to hit it. So the, the team is uh, fully on board. The sweepers know uh, where that rock needs to be when it's contacting the... Uh, the first yellow these top level curlers top level sweepers can actually see the rock curling 
while they're coming down the sheet so they can anticipate the skip and the uh, and the throwers uh, yelling hard to sweep. So that's why you'll see a lot of the, the uh, top level sweepers come down to the other end and see exactly where they need to hit it. Brad Thiessen is very, uh, very involved and very uh, um, takes a lot of time to come down and take a look exactly where they want to hit it. So, so yeah, they're going to try to make this hit and flop. Looks like she's got it going a little bit out of her hand. Gonna roll too far. Yeah, gonna roll too far. All right, so Team Brown going to be thrown here to, to split the house. Lie two. That was a really big missed opportunity there by uh, by Clancy. But again, at the beginning of this end, you wanted to score. One's okay, two is better. We'll see where this rock ends up, but. You have two hammers to one at the at currently, so just make sure you score this end. Right over hand, they look like they picked up the sweep right away on it. Got a time of 15-8. That looks like they gotta go big time. Wow, great sweeping. Absolute phenomenal sweeping right there, right out of her hand, right to the finish. Sweepers kept their heads down. They knew they had to go. That is a phenomenal sweep by the front end of Team Brown. All right, you got to clear your mind from the first one. It looked like she got it going a little bit or not quite out to the broom the first shot here. So she's got to clear that out of her mind. Know that one here is great. And tie game going into seven. Now I think she got this one back out to the broom. A little bit of sweeping here to carve it over. Looks like she'll be fine. A little bit of a roll. Too far. Steal a one. That sweep from uh, Team Brown's front end to get that rock into place proves pivotal. Great sweep. Steal a one. Four, two. Brown over Grandy. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium.
looking to get that uh, that three ball. And uh, sometimes uh, the other team that's up two here tries really hard to force Team Grandy. But sometimes you, you try so hard to force, you almost force them to three sometimes. Been in that scenario quite a few times myself. But definitely not the level of cur curlers these, uh, these ladies are, for sure. So great shot by uh, the lead on Team Brown. Uh, top four. Corner guard going up here for, uh, for Team Grandy. Huge uh, shout out to our uh, to our sponsor this weekend, Co-op Petroleum, on their sheet here tonight. Thank you so much to uh, to all the sponsors. All the teams out here have local and small business sponsors that have let the uh, the curlers and the athletes really really perform and and not worry too much about entry fees and whatnot hotels. Uh, and it's something that our sport uh, really relies on is our small business and helping out our our athletes. So uh, please share, please, please uh, you know, if you see somebody on a jacket and you're heading into, you know, uh, the co-op to buy gas, say, hey, you know, thank you very much for sponsoring the event this last weekend. It was great. Just to allow those sponsors to know that they are getting recognized. And uh, thank you so much, obviously, to co-op petroleum for the ladies this year or this weekend and uh, global machine and supply for the men's uh, uh, event last weekend. So a little bit of a mistake for team Brown. They're hitting that rock on the nose. So team granny slid one into the house as we were talking about earlier where, you know, it's a, it's actually it's 0.2 seconds um faster uh going away from the uh the home end here at leduc and it's 0.2 slower coming home so sometimes you'll see that where uh you know in the seventh end it's a little bit uh a little bit faster and it slides into the house and i think uh, team brown would have liked to peel that off because e even though it's in the rings that will act as a corner guard as well Good corner guard put up by Team Granny. Now Team Brown would be trying to guard that rock that's on the forefoot. Good guard there. Now again, Team Grandy going to go around that corner guard. So another option here is you could have played a tap back on that rock that's top four foot. And if you racked on the guard that they just threw, you're only going to be throwing just through weight. So your rock would actually start spinning and heading towards where... Uh, Clancy is sitting right now in the, in the house. So you could have thrown that tap back, and if you were a little bit inside, hit that and rolled in and, uh, and opened up a little bit of the front. Again, you're only down two with the hammer, so it's not, uh, it's not you know, emergency situation yet. Uh, so you do need to make sure that you're going to keep that center open and have a, have a couple shots for your skipper at the end here. So... Um, it, it's not where you need to throw everything in the kitchen sink at the team at the moment, only being down two with the hammer in the seventh end. So a little bit more of, uh, of a aggressive, but non-aggressive call would have been to, to try to tap that one top four foot. And if you're inside, tap the one that is guarding and roll into the house. Really close to the guard. Oh, great sweep. Absolute fantastic shot. Now Team Clant uh, Grandy is going to have to uh, to do something with those rocks up in front. 
Great sweep again by the Brown team. Fantastic. A couple more shout-outs to our local sponsors here. Uh, Sticks and Stones Pub here in the LRC. Uh, they're providing a 10% off to all of our athletes upstairs for food and beverage throughout the weekend, as well as some uh, Gatorade and water and, and beverages on the ice uh, for our athletes. Hack to House, our new curling supplying store here in Edmonton. Uh, they are providing great um, club packages that has uh, revenue share opportunities for your uh, clubs. So anyone that's involved in a, in a curling club that has a pro shop or doesn't have a pro shop, please reach out to hacktohouse.com. And they have some very, very uh, great programs to bring in some extra revenue into your curling clubs. Your members buy products already. So the curling club might as well get a profit share from those products and uh, try to get a little bit more financial stable stability through our curling club. So hack the house.com. If this spins into the house, fantastic. It did. Absolutely. Great shot there. Peeled off the center guard and rolled into the house. Great shot. So with this shot here, you just have to make sure you call the line so you don't jam that red one on the side. Good shot there. Another great sponsor here that we have for our athletes is Taylor Mailed Wellness. Taylor Mailed Wellness is bringing in a chiropractor and massage for our athletes tomorrow. Anybody that needs any... Uh, uh, muscles rubbed out or anything adjusted for uh, back and all the sweeping. Uh, TaylorMade Wellness is uh, here to offer chiropractic massage services to our athletes to get them through the beginning season here and uh, help them out for their long, uh, long road ahead. Still a couple days left in this event. So there is an opportunity here for a double and lie to or uh, just hit and uh or tap it back um and uh and try to set up a bigger end but when you're looking at this you know is three in play probably not so in my mind um i would be removing one of those yellow rocks out of play if one stays in the rings, that is fine. But removing one of those yellow rocks out of place, so your red rock on the left-hand side that's just biting the co-op petroleum um, circle comes into play. This is a very aggressive call just to keep them around, but I don't think the three ball is uh, is in play here. Uh, so this this might be a you know a, a little bit too aggressive for what uh, the end is shaping up. For the shot call, you know, great shot. But uh, the unfortunate thing is here is Team Brown has a chance to lie three. Um, so when you're trying to get your deuce, you're pretty set up there earlier to to try to get a pretty easy deuce. Now you're going to have to remove some granite to, get, to make sure that that rock on the right-hand side there, uh, on the co-op petroleum circle, comes into play. So now you're going to have to make that double and make sure your shooter is rolling over towards the yellow rock. You're going to have to make two doubles in your last three stones, possibly, you know, a double with your last rock for sure to get two here. So that's why that, that play there for your younger teams and, and people looking at the, uh, looking at these games as, tr as training models that, that first shot of the tap back, um, 
was a it was a very aggressive call that might not have been needed because there wasn't really a three uh a th- three i call it a three ball so uh you know a three ender um really in play with the way it was set up so you wanted to just guard to make sure you got your two uh so um very very aggressive call but uh you know now we have the double and roll your shooter over here which looks like is going to be a a great shot yeah absolutely great shot so you're going to have to make one more double to to get your deuce here this this end Big shout out to uh, James Gordon and Rory McCuster for doing all the uh, production work the last few weeks. Um, again, I said in the earlier broadcast that these guys are absolute geniuses when it comes to uh, getting these things on TV, getting uh, you know guys like myself uh, where I can just walk in and start talking and and uh, and have the uh, commentating going. So fantastic job by uh, James Gordon, Rory McCuster, uh, also Jerry Gertz there at uh, Curling Stadium. So, so Kareem Brown really going to make sure that she needs to stick around with this shot. A, a roll over to the right uh, to, to space those yellow rocks as much as she can uh, would be the right shot call here. So here's your opportunity. Uh, you can make the double and lie to. Your rocks are closely together. So if Kareen Brown makes the double right back, you have a blank for your opportunity to take the hammer into the last end to get three to win. Or, um, or you can play the hit and roll off the one on the side 12 foot behind the yellow rock that's there on the center line. Again, really, uh, really fighting hard to try to get a three ender here where, um, you know, you might want to take your medicine and just, you know, two is really good here. Um, but uh, if she can pull this shot off, shot off uh, I think Corinne might just walk up and, and take that red rock out and say, here's your free draw for two. I'll take the hammer in the eighth end. Trying to get it to curl. Trying to get it to curl a lot here. If she rolls out, this is a big mistake. Oh, no. That's too bad. Again, I think this end just kind of got away from Team Grandy with a few of the uh, shot calls. Um, you know, earlier in the end with the, the third's last rock, uh, you had the opportunity to, to make... Uh, one of the yellow rocks uh, leave the house and have that rock that Kareem Brown is looking at taking out now come into play for a, sh- for, um, for a multiple score of two. And then also the last shot there, you could have made the double or at least hit and rolled in front of the yellow one to make this shot a lot more difficult for an easier shot at two. But, uh, y- you know, sometimes when you pick the hardest shots possible, uh, the outcome is uh, difficult to make. So... Um, that might be a little bit of a learning, uh, a learning end for uh, Team Grandy and, and their coaches. So great shot by uh, by Team Brown there, hitting, rolling in. Um, not allowing Team Grandy to get the blank here. <coughs> Excuse me. If she would have hit and rolled out and hit the boards, Team Grandy would have had an easy blank opportunity with that rock in the top eight foot uh, to take the hammer into the eighth end. Now, you know, making a very good hit and roll into the rings there by two feet has uh, has forced them to one. And at the very least, Corinne Brown is going to be going home up one with the hammer playing the eighth end. (laughs) 
Trying to make a curl again here. Same result here. Going to be hit and rolled out. Kryn Brown's going to be up 5-2, to two, playing the 8th end without the hammer. And this is the point where they're going to be throwing everything but the kitchen sink into the 8th end here. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able... All right, we're back. So Team Brown throwing one top four foot has that draw weight right in her back pocket, puts in a great spot. Corner guard going to be going up here for Team Grandy. A couple comments in here, the the live uh, live chat. Um, you know what? One of the questions was was that intentional to keep the hammer in the eighth end? Now we've had we've had we've seen some crazy things over the last few years with this five rock rule. And how important it is to keep hammer in the eighth end. But in this instance, when you're down two, uh, you, you don't want to be down three coming home. Now, if you're down one, uh, we have seen, you know, a, a really difficult shot for, for two or three points. And if they give up one, that's okay. They'll have the hammer coming home down two. But uh, you wouldn't want to give up a point to be down three coming home with a, with the hammer. Getting four points is... Uh, is really really difficult. Um, stealing one point, if you would have if you would have hit and stuck there, is a lot easier than getting uh, three points or four points to uh, win the game or send it into an extra end. So no, one, to my mind, that uh, that wouldn't have been an intentional shot. And another good point, yes, this is the third game uh, for each team today. Uh, triple knockouts. Sometimes uh, teams love it because there isn't any pool play and there isn't any long, uh, sorry, LSDs. So last stone draws to determine seeding or uh, determine who gets a tiebreaker and all of that stuff. It's just if you win, you get to qualify. And if you lose, you have to play your way in. So uh, with triple knockouts, it's if you lose one game, if you don't qualify out of the A, it's uh, it's a marathon, not a sprint. So this is their third game each for these ladies here today, and the uh, the winner will play in the B uh, qualifying game tomorrow morning, and uh, the loser will have to play three games tomorrow to get out of the C side. So good shot there, corner guard up. Another corner guard put up. So you're you're set up here for Granny to to try to make another six shots in a row and uh, and try to get scrounge out your three points here in the eighth end.
three draws a day. I think some of these ladies have uh, put their names down for the chiropractic massage that is sponsored by uh, Taylor Made Wellness. Uh, tomorrow afternoon here for the athletes, they're bringing in massage and chiropractor services to help out these athletes get through these three a days. Thank you for Taylor Made and Wellness. Very good shot by Team Brown, top 12. Um, you know, not fully buried, because if you would have fully buried that one, it would have gave access to the rock top four foot. Fantastic judge and fantastic sweep there by Team Brown. So last sheet on the ice here at the Leduc Rec Center. Team Brown versus Team Grandy. Brown up 5-2 to two without the hammer in the 8th end. Team Grandy going to do everything possible to keep as many rocks in play as possible. Coming down here looking like they're going to try to tap that back and make a little bit of a pocket for their next shot. Great shot there by Team Grandy. It's been an absolute delight watching these ladies curl here yesterday and today. Uh, we are here all day tomorrow, Saturday. If you, everyone like to come down and take a look and, and look at the beautiful rec center here at Leduc, come down, enjoy some uh, bevies up in our uh, Sticks and Stones pub and lounge. It is free for the weekend. Come down and watch some great curling. So Team Brown's just going to be looking at getting rid of that red stone rolling over behind the guard at the end of the day if they lose their shooter they uh that wouldn't be too big of a complaint from them very good shot now you know you kind of uh, had a set up shot to get a to get a pocket back there so you want to freeze one right in there and uh, try to generate two and maybe with your last rock that you can get a third one in there. I want to thank Jerry Gertz from uh, Curling Stadium for uh, getting on my phone and getting me down here to uh, commentate these last few ends of this game. It's been a, it's been a treat. My name is Matt Yo. I uh, one of the owners of Tim's Ice Manufacturing, and uh, we run the Leduc Rec Center here and curling. The ice makers for the event here that uh, we have are uh, Justin Runson and, and Logan Yo. They've uh, had a great surface for the ladies to play on this weekend. So thank you so much for all their hard work. So this one comes up a little bit light, but it's dead buried behind their guard. So it's going to make Miss, uh, Miss Brown here to uh, walk up and, and peel off that corner guard. And then the next shot will be a Team Granny just to tap that back into the pocket again. Very good shot. Again, Team Grandy walked up there. Just tap that back about three feet right into the pocket. Again, huge shout out to our sponsors this weekend. Co-op Petroleum here in Leduc as our presenting sponsor. Global Machine and Supply. Sticks and Stones Pub and Grill. Tim's Ice Manufacturing, Ice Advice, TaylorMade Wellness, and our new curling store here in Edmonton, Hack to House. Visit hacktohouse.com for all your curling needs.
All right, very pivotal shot here to try to set up their three-ender. Little three-foot tap back of their red rock right into the uh, pocket. Very precise shot. Look like they're a little bit heavy there. They only hit about a quarter of that rock and rolled to the T line. So they were probably about five or six feet heavy on that shot. Uh, but they've spread their rocks out. Another freeze into that pocket with the next rock. One miss, and uh, there might be a three, three ender in play here. A comment here on the live stream from Steve. We have an American joining us. Love you uh, chiming in on the live chat. Thank you very much for uh, for watching us today. If you want to see lots of curling coverage, lots of curling coverage this year on uh, Curling Stadium as well as the Alberta Curling Series, we're hosting uh, 15 events, men's, ladies, and mixed doubles. We have a mixed doubles event starting on Saturday next weekend. So uh, abcurlseries.com or .ca, sorry, abcurlingseries.ca for uh, any more coverage on next weekend as well. All right, so here comes the, uh, the ultra-important freeze into that pocket. They're going to start working on it here pretty hard. Line's great. Don't lose it. Hurry hard. Great shot. Absolute fantastic shot. So one miss away here from uh, from setting up a three-ender. Uh, three ender. That's what you essentially have to, uh, to have to hope for down three coming home is you're going to need a miss or two from the other team to try to generate your three uh, three points. Oh, you guys stop here on the live chat. You're starting to make me blush a little bit. Commentary is not that good. I always say I'm just an ice maker. I freeze water for a living. So I appreciate all the, the nice uh, words on the live chat. All right, Kareem Brown uh, kicking out here. Needing to uh, get rid of a red rock to ensure that she has a pretty easy shot with her last one to uh, to win the game here. So fantastic shot. She is a shot maker. Fantastic shot. Now uh, Team grandy has got to decide where is the best place to put this rock. In my opinion, if you freeze to that yellow one right there absolutely it uh, it'd be difficult to remove that red rock from the left hand side and also difficult to remove the rock from the right hand side if you try to hit it on the left hand side you might hit your own yellow rock and spin it back to the rock that you're freezing to if you hit it on the right hand side you might straight jam it to the rock that you're freezing to so my opinion if you put that rock right where her broom her initial call was that would be a fantastic shot That is a that's a, a decent shot call as well. Um, just looking at the overhead, uh, if they put it there, you're probably guarding your red rock that uh, uh, from being able to be taken out from the from the right hand side. Um, the only issue is here if you move any of those rocks more than an inch in any direction, um, it's pretty easy to take out both both rocks this is a very very precise shot but in the eighth end down three uh you are 
going to be having to make the precise shots and going to have to need a miss from the other team. All right, looks like they're just cleaning for now. Yeah, they're need, needing to go here a little bit. Great shot. Couldn't have walked it down there any better. Fantastic shot. So there's two trains of thought here. Um, you hit half a rock on the outside here it should spin and actually spin off that yellow one if it does jam and, and get removed from the house you could also um, throw a tight guard let uh, team Clancy run the uh, red corner guard in for three um, but this, this is the right call here. Corinne's going to be very close to, uh, to being able to take this one out with a lot of spin. All right, come down, sweep it hard. Jam, are they going to get it out? She is. Great shot. A lot of great shot making the last few ends here. Congratulations to Team Brown. And uh, Team Granny for putting on quite the show. Once again, thank you so much for Co-op Petroleum for being our title sponsor here for the weekend. Curling Stadium and Alberta Curling Series for, uh, for hosting these events. Thank you so much, and we'll see you tom tomorrow at uh, 10 a.m. Imagine being able to stream every curling game from every sheet from any event, be it your Wednesday league game, font spiel, or corporate event. Curling Stadium offers an all-inclusive streaming solution featuring high-quality cameras, ease of use, great reliability, and minimal installation. Offering your sponsors customizable ad space on your streamed curling games and being able to sell video packages to your corporate events for increased revenue. With Curling Stadium, you can stream to any device, be it your mobile phone, tablet, or computer. Push the feed to your desired platform, be it Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media. Curling Stadium is simply the way forward. Where it's commonplace in other sports to televise every game, we want to do the same. Curling is a global sport, and it's time it gets the coverage it needs. Make your curling club the next Curling Stadium.